This is the first uh, shared charging hub that I know of that's been put into the United States. We're about a mile and a half away from LAX airport. We have a seven and a half megawatt mm -hmm. interconnection here. We have 78 DC fast charging ports. And uh, this is the most active depot in the United States that I know of. I'm Jay Trogat, Senior Editor of Clean Trucking. I am just outside LAX at Zeem Solutions' flagship charging depot with founder and CEO, Paul Gupas. So how many trucks pass through here on any day of the week? So on a truck level and let's say commercial vehicles from class three all the way up to class eight, you're pushing about 100 vehicles a day that'll come through here. The bulk of the activity that we get is gonna be ride share vehicles. Okay. And those could be anywhere between 300 to as many as six or 700. So on a daily basis, you know, we'll do as many as if you're talking about a five or 600 charge session day, mm -hmm. you're gonna be pushing about 20, 25,000 uh, kilowatt hours in a day. Wow. And then on a monthly basis, you know, we've had uh, anywhere between 700 to a million kilowatt a lot hours a month. And I've noticed there's a lot of Class 8 semis surrounding us here. These are all clients of yours. Do you own these trucks? Explain to the audience how this works. So in some cases, we do own the truck and okay. we'll bundle it with the parking and the charging and other ancillary services. Okay. You could buy a vehicle and operate it out of our site as well before you go and invest millions of dollars in infrastructure at your own site. The majority of the trucks that you see here are owned by the actual trucking operator and they park and charge here because they have an infrastructure problem. And we help support the vehicle through maintenance and other fleet management services that we offer as well. Do you see a certain sweet spot in the different type of vehicle types coming to charge here, whether it's last mile, light duty, medium duty, heavy duty? Do you think there's one that this model fits the best at right now? It's a really good question. I would say because we're at an airport, it's very heavy rideshare car rental. Okay. Now that said, the class eight operators that are coming out of here, you would think are operating out of LAX. LAX is actually a big cargo airport. But what's happening is we only have two trucks that operate just cargo out of the airport. Mm -hmm. Everybody else is actually operating Long Beach, doing drayage out of this uh, site. Okay. And it's because they don't have infrastructure where they are. And just to give everybody perspective, we are out of the route. We're about oh, 20 really? miles out of route here. So for them to actually operate out of here, tells you how difficult it is to get infrastructure in the ground and what fleets are actually willing to do to actually operate here and be able to test out of the Long Beach port. So that said, they're making money operating out of this site, even though they're 20 miles away from the port. Wow. You know, our offering started with a heavy duty, medium sure. duty slant. What's happened is it's been hard to get equipment. So for us, medium duty is an obvious area to uh, electrify. The problem is the equipment is very expensive and it happens to sit in a sweet spot where batteries are just too expensive for right. the medium duty to pencil out from a diesel comparison. On the tractor side, what's happening is there's enough incentives here in California that allow us to operate all the tractors on this site at a total cost of operation that's below a diesel. So that's the key. So what's great here is we're getting heavier on the tractor side. Mm -hmm. We're getting better deliveries from tractors. So Paul, one of the first things I noticed when I came here today was this right here, the Tesla megawatt charging system, also known as the MCS. Tell me a little bit more about this. What, what you see here is a skidded charging solution. This is their 3.5 mm -hmm. system. This is being used right now to operate their demo. So they're delivering in mid 2026. Uh, Zeem has been a fortunate partner to be able to get one of these MCS chargers on our lot for demonstrations. So we have customer orders that we're fulfilling and then Tesla has some customers that want to demo from the site. So what we've done is we have this hooked into our switch gear panel here right in the center aisle and okay. we're we're providing charging for Tesla demos. You and I spoke exactly a year ago at ACT24 in Las Vegas. What has happened to Zeem in the past year? Obviously, there's been a lot of changes at the national level, a new uh, presidential administration that has a very different let's call it outlook or viewpoint yes. on electrification, uh, whether it's passenger or commercial vehicles. So where is Zeem Solutions at one year later? So a year later, we see much better vehicle variety and mm -hmm. price points coming down. So that's a very, very good thing, number one. Number two, finance agencies that are getting more comfortable financing these vehicles and putting a better mm -hmm. residual value. That's gonna start moving the needle here in a very, very big way. Okay. And, and really fleets adopting. So ACF was a major blow for the entire industry. Yes. Um, but 
what's happened is there's fleets who have chosen that they want to electrify, right? So there were the fleets that were being forced and that wasn't something that was well received down to the fleets that started to try before they buy. Then they realize this is working and they're all going all in. So what we're seeing is less reliance on needing an incentive to be able to actually start off. So that's great news. And I'm hoping that we get to a parity uh, much sooner than everybody thinks. All right, well, I hope to uh, have this conversation again with you in a year or two years time. And I can't wait to see the advancements uh, that you guys are gonna be making. So glad you came at this time. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Awesome.